Hello, I'm Dr. Christine Greaves, and I've been with Orlando Health since 2012. And today's taboo topic is childbirth. There's more than one way to have a baby. There's the natural way, which is known as a vaginal delivery. And there's the surgical way, which is known as a cesarean delivery or C-section. Vaginal childbirth or a normal vaginal delivery is when you can have your baby the natural way um, through the vagina. A C-section is known as a cesarean delivery. It's when you kind of bypass the vagina and you have your baby by surgery where you have a cut on your tummy in order to get the baby out. If you've had a C-section in the past and you'd like to have a vaginal delivery for your next pregnancy, it is an option. As long as everything was okay with your surgery and you had a low transverse C-section without it extending, et cetera, then that's an option to try to have a vaginal delivery. I would strongly recommend having your baby at a place that is at a, at a birthing place hospital, um, just because with childbirth, you never know what's going to happen. If the heart tones are a little lower, we do like to monitor to check on the baby during that because the baby can't talk to you during that process and say, hey, mom, I'm doing great. If we're concerned about the baby, we like to have the, the NICU team, the neonatal team right there to help with the resuscitation of the baby, to help make sure everything's okay with the baby. I tell uh, my patients um, that it's power passenger pelvis. So meaning, is, does your uterus have enough power, okay? Is your uterus contracting, like, effectively, okay? If you have an infection, meaning if you have chorioamnionitis, um, if it, it may not contract as well. It may not push and just cause that cervical change and get the baby out. So that's the power. The passenger, is the baby really large? Um, is the baby going to fit? And then that leads you to pelvis. Is the baby going to fit outside of that birth canal? Can it navigate through? And it requires all of that to act in sync and to be perfect to get the little sweetheart out. Do you have to go to a Lamaze class um, in order to try to have your baby without an epidural or in order to just do the best that you can to have the baby? Fortunately, the people at the hospital, the nurses and doctors and midwives um, and whoever else is involved in your care, where you go, um, will help you and teach you how to push. So if you want, you can try it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then don't feel too bad about it. An epidural is a helpful way to block your pain. Is it safe for you and your baby? Generally for a healthy woman, the answer is yes. But it allows for them to enjoy the process of having the baby. And also if they tear afterwards, um, then it'll, it helps with the pain of that as well. A lot of times people may tear for the first delivery. And it depends on what your perineum looks like and your anatomy. But don't feel bad if, if you tear. That, that's very common. What are some other ways of controlling pain and labor other than an epidural? Uh, sure, you can try the Lamaze techniques, the breathing. Uh, you can um, talk to your healthcare team taking care of you, and we can give you medicine in the vein, like um, depending on um, how your baby is looking as well. Um, so those are some other methods that you can use. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for another edition of Taboo Topics.